Hi guys, today we are going to be talking about bone markings again, with a focus on the markings that aid in the formation of a joint. In the last video, we described that bone markings refer to common features or specific uses that structures on bones have, and that they were referred to as a bone marking. So let's get started right away here. The focus of this lesson will be the bone markings related to joint formation. And the first bone marking we're going to take a look at is called a condyle. Now an epicondyle is involved in muscle and ligament attachment, but a condyle itself is a rounded articular projection. And we'll have a look at that here on the skull. So if it's a bone projection that's going to be involved in articulation, it's often going to have hyaline cartilage over it. So we're just outlining this occipital condyle here. So it's a condyle and it's on the occipital bone of the skull. And it's going to be involved in articulation with the uh, most superior vertebrae. The next uh, bone marking we're going to look at is called a facet. Now a facet is an almost flat surface of articulation and it's quite smooth as well. If we have a look at the vertebrae down here, we can see a couple of facets. Now I'll just point out here that they're all called costal facets. So the costal facets, as the name suggests, are all going to be involved in formation of joints with the ribs. And I'll just mark up here, their naming is based on their position. So we have superior, inferior underneath the vertebrae, and just on the side we can see as well one last facet, and we call that the transverse costal facets. So once again, all involved in joint formation with the ribs. Okay, now we only have two more specific bone markings that are involved in joint formation. The first one of these is going to be called a head. A bone head is quite an easy one to remember, as it's always going to be a fairly large protuberance of bone that sits on a narrow neck. So it's a, a bone expansion protruding from a narrow neck. And I'll draw that here on the femur. So we can see the femoral head. And we can also see that it's sitting on a narrow neck just below it. And I'll circle that as well so we can see it. So just sitting here on top of this narrow neck. The last bone marking involved in joint formation is called a ramus. A ramus is a bar of bone that appears arm-like or bridge-like. If we have a look at the pelvis or coxal bone uh, down here on the right-hand side of the screen, we can see a good example of a ramus. However, there are two here. So once again, like with the vertebrae, that's when we differentiate them by position. So we've got the pubic ramus inferior, and if we go just above it, we can see another arm of bone. And that's called the superior pubic ramus. So now we've covered all the bone markings that are projections in the body. In the last video, we'll have a look at all of the depressions and openings in the skeleton. And once again, guys, I hope this has been helpful for you. And thanks for watching.